During the plan, we first knew we were going to do a horror, as it is more appealing than film noir, as it is more popular and has a bigger variety of stories than we could go with. I decided that we would do a zombie film based around survival, as to me, would make a good story. After researching further into the genre of horror, I found out the techniques they do to make things scary and more frightening by showing the lighting to make it have a greater depth of emotion. Being alone is a major factor to the genre and makes the lonely scenes scarier. The storyboard was a bunch of scenes, which I knew I could do, but late the rest of my group left and I had to make some changes to the sequence as I had few members in my cast. Luckily, a few of my friends helped out. We knew how the shots went together. As I was familiar with the story I had planned out, and that it would be in the version of a journey to find somewhere safe, which also emphasises the scary parts, and that the survivor is getting into more danger. This is something I have learned from other horror conventions, is that the story gets worse. As I had seen the whole story planned out, it made the overall product look smoother, as it was in order. Since our first video clip at the beginning of the year, there has been improvements to the shots, as previously there was a break in the 180 degree rule. The shots we used were very various, but in the opening sequence it uses more complex shots, like point of view and tracking shots. As I had used the equipment before, I felt more confident this time because of the experience I had. I feel that my finished product was successful according to the brief as I have made the opening sequence to a movie. It also keeps the idea that there is mystery and doesn't reveal much of the story or much about the characters. Having the scene at the ending with everything all calm and the revealing of the title makes for desire creation. As with most of the beginnings to films, they have to make the audience want more.